This morning, as I stepped outside my house and drove across town with my phone in hand, I was able to capture the elusive war turtle, putting me up to 16, count them, 16 Squirtle candies. Hello everybody, I'm Sparkfire and welcome back to another episode of Sparkcraft. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. I was just trying to brag a little bit. Let me turn my HUD on. I managed to catch a war turtle this evening on Pokemon Go and I was really excited about it. So I wanted to just point that out and just kind of tell people because I haven't told anybody else yet. And I sold my old war turtle because it was half the CP. I tore apart that garden and I did a couple other things. As you can see, my house is done though. I am excited about that. If you hear that annoying humming in the background, please try to ignore it. It's my air conditioner and it's really, really hot where I'm at right now. And it's a really bad air conditioner because it's noisy, but it's keeping me cool so that's good as you can see this is my house look at this I've made a few modifications and check it out look at this the wall is actually kinda of grown on me I tore the backyard apart and I feel so bad about it but I'm gonna eventually tear all of this up this was just because you know what just let me show you why I did this to my backyard oh it was horrible I no longer have access to potatoes and that is because of my villagers and here is why wheat you come over here, we got some wheat. More wheat over there. Let's go over here. Why don't we just come down here and check on this wheat next to a fucking villager that won't plant anything but wheat. Come over here, little slightly mollified garden with a bunch of wheat. We got some more wheat over there. I'm not even going to go to the back garden because there are a few carrots there, but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to come over here and look at something more important, this wheat. That's right. Whoa, what was that? A little baby villager what kind was that was that like him and this is a village spawner all my villagers died I don't know where they went they just started dying off and I haven't seen any zombie villagers so I don't know where they are I put this door here earlier to finally let them outside so they can go explore the town eventually I'm probably gonna lock more in there I'm gonna build up around this this is a very simple design you can just go and look at Google that's actually not too bad a deal if I want leather clothes I mean it's kind of overpriced but I can work with it but it's a very simple design just look up for a village spawner type thing and like a village a villager breeding machine that's what it is it basically just because all the doors are up top and everything they'll all start breeding really fast so you can repopulate your village with just two of them that's what I did and now I've got a few villagers running around I'm eventually gonna stick them back in there though because I want more villagers than just this I also planted trees back there and everything everything looks really nice so far but we got more important stuff to worry about this evening and I'm gonna show you what that is I went fishing as you can see I got my meats here not very big but the fish down here I got some regular raw fish raw salmon and I got really excited because this is the first time I caught any kind of clownfish in the console version of Minecraft so I was really excited I only got my two sad little carrots here potatoes were supposed to go here but now they're all gone thanks to the villagers who died and wheat in the bottom I just I have plenty of wheat I just haven't gotten to harvest it so other than that I really haven't got too much finished I just sorted some stuff out there's my clay and then I got this mess down here of random stone type items and that's sandstone I put my sand in there as well because I just didn't know what else to do with it at the moment I put these pictures up made it look a little more comfortable in here but this is the most important part everybody get ready get pumped up because here it comes this chest look at what I got down here I got a regular fishing pole then I got this fishing pole which I caught right before my old fishing pole broke I caught this one it's got luck of the sea unbreaking and lure all threes so that's the best fishing pole I think you can get then of course I got this bow with power four I think and everything's really good the saddle the puffer fish and then of course the name tag now the name tags the most important part since I can't find the villager that I wanted to try to name Peter I'm gonna have to work differently I my iron should be done by now that I was smelting to work on this and now we're going to make a anvil 
Let's see, what was... I know it's 9 for this. Still getting used to, like, sorting that out. Um, oh, shit, didn't mean to do that. Okay, actually, that's the right number I need, so it's fine. Why wouldn't let me put it down? Put it there. Okay. I don't know why it wouldn't let me put it down for some reason. Uh, I could have just dragged that over to the side. I didn't really think about it. Uh, there we go. Three up there. And I think it's f the four here, right? Yeah. Okay. So we got an anvil, and now we get our name tag. Since we can't use it on Peter, we're going to use it on somebody more important than Peter and myself. We're going to use it for... Can you guess it? I bet you can. We're going to use it on Honey Bunny. I got a keyboard attached to my... Well, one of those little keyboard things attached to the bottom of my controller, so this shouldn't take too long. If my H wasn't stuck... There we go. My keys are jamming for some reason. They don't want... I have to push them really hard. Like, my regular buttons work just fine, but the keys on this... There we go. Honey Bunny. And made sure it was spelled right. I thought it was going to cost more than one level. That seems really, really low. I thought it was going to cost at least maybe seven. Huh. I guess I haven't messed around with name tags for a while. But here we go. Here it is. And I can't see it. Or I can't see her name tag. Where is it? Is it because she's next to the wall? Hold on, let me take this down. I can't see her name. Did I do something wrong? Did I... Did I hit the fence post or something instead? I mean... Well, that didn't do anything. Um, let me see if I put it on the fence post, maybe? No, get back in there. No? I didn't think that would work, but just in case. I mean, did it do this one? No, it didn't. Did it... Did it glitch? Oh, God, I hope it didn't glitch. It probably did. Okay, I guess since it's going to go ahead and be m making me miserable like that, I don't... Oh, God. Okay, I'm just going to call it a day with this episode. So, remember, as always, to hit the subscribe buttons if you want to see more con content from this channel. And to also click like to let me know that you're enjoying the series so that I'll try harder to put more content in. Maybe next time the name tag will work and we'll finally get the chance to see the name Honey Bunny. But until then, I guess we'll stick with just nothing. So, goodbye.